Recorded Books and One Click Digital present The Arrangement by Mary Balog, narrated by Rosalind Landor. Chapter One When it became clear to Vincent Hunt, Viscount Darley, that if he stayed at home for the remainder of the spring, he would, without any doubt at all, be betrothed, even married, before summer had properly settled in, he fled. He ran away from home, which was a ridiculous, somewhat lowering way of putting it, when he owned the house and was almost twenty-four years old. But the simple fact was that he bolted. He took with him his valet, Martin Fisk, his travelling carriage and horses, and enough clothes and other necessary belongings to last him a month or two, or six. He really did not know how long he would stay away. He took his violin, too, after a moment's hesitation. His friends liked to tease him about it, and affect horror every time he tucked it beneath his chin, but he thought he played it tolerably well. More important, he liked playing it. It soothed his soul, though he never confided that thought to his friends. Flavian would no doubt make a comment along the lines of its scratching the boot soles of everyone else who happened to be within earshot. The main trouble with home was that he was afflicted with too many female relatives, and not enough male ones and no assertive males. His grandmother and his mother lived with him, and his three sisters, though married with homes and families of their own, came to stay all too frequently, and often for lengthy spells. Hardly a month went by without at least one of them being in residence for a few days, or a week or more. His brothers-in-law, when they came with their wives, which was not every time, tactfully held themselves aloof from Vincent's affairs, and allowed their womenfolk to rule his life, even though it was worthy of note that none of them allowed their wives to rule theirs. It all would have been understandable. Even under ordinary circumstances, Vincent supposed grand.